All righty, turn 154, May 9th, 42. Let's do some damage to Rob. Hey, mine the mining battle pop battle popping again, huh? Using up a lot of his mines. Probably coming out of Silver Baja or possibly uh, Darwin. If Darwin's big enough. Alright. Night the evening phase, night phase is over. Morning air phase. Supposedly I hit that ship. We will see. Bad weather, bad weather. Oh, come on. I'm gonna have that stupid problem, aren't I? Let's see if this fixes it. There we go. bomb this guy until we can see if we can uh, finish him off from the air. Come on, get on the Vindicators. Oh, come on, enough with the mechanical issues. All right, there we go. Nope, oh, another one popped up. Got him. Okay, let's get him. Of course, as soon as we get through the fighters, they all run away. Can we jack them afterwards? Wow, apparently not. They're all going home for issues. Gun jams out of ammo. Alright, well, we got a lot of the, uh, the P-39s. thing about us our damaged aircraft is that we're right right at our base we don't have to go far he has a long trip home and we didn't get any of them <sighs> nope unless I'm uh, died of ops on the way home we didn't get any all right what, what do we got here Really? Come on, it's an AKO. My guess is bringing in supplies with these guys.
Yep, they're both sunk. Any men? No, nope, so just supplies, okay. morning phase. the afternoon phase. Alright, ground moving combat. Six, nine, twelve units. Come on, mouse. And that's it for the ground action. Gonna expand some full, some bases, run through production. And when that's done, we'll pause the video, grab some saves, grab some information, come over, come back, and go over a brief after action report. Alrighty, another fairly slow day in the war. Nothing major happened, although we did get a bunch of air kills. So, well, let's just start here. Score-wise, we went up 24 points. Rob went up 4. In the air, it looks like he lost 16. We lost 2. 8 to 1. I love those odds. Or 1 to 8. Whichever way you want to look at it. So, we lost an Oscar to Ops, a, a Sally to Ops. And that's it. He lost a P-38 to Ops. Wonder where that bad. Wonder where those bastards are at. Um, he lost two Hurricane, two A's to Ops. He lost four B-17s to air to air. And lost ten P-39, P-36 Air Cobras. We didn't get any of those damn uh, Vindicators down there over Nomia, but we did hammer the, his, uh, his fighter escorts. So we lost two aircraft. No pilots lost. That's good. Let's see. Incoming air groups for us. 21 days to some fighters and dive bombers. Ship-wise, we got 21 days to the Hiyo. 55 to the Ryuho. And on the ground, we got 5 days to some CD units and a Naval Guard. Engines and aircraft. Let's see. 38, 48, 53, 63, 71, 75 engines. One Topsy, one Jake, one 3B0. And device-wise, let's see, not a whole lot. 12 support. Uh, then down here to the free stuff. Bump, bump, bump. All right. That was pretty easy there. Let's go ahead and bring up Combat Reporter. We found more mines about Baddock Poppin. He's... Go burn through all his sub sub mines, which is fine at the moment, as long as you know we're finding them without running into them. On the ground, he uh, he bombarded us at, at Nomia, did no uh, no damage. In the air, we had a couple different encounters there. I bombed some Chinese troops way up in the north. Uh, he brought B-17s over Rangoon again. I thought we only damaged four of them, but apparently we shot four of them down. He bombed Suva and over Nomia. Um, well, we found the task force there and we killed two AKLs. And there's the one over Nomia. He, I put some long range cap over there. I was hoping to get these damn Vindicators, but I did not. I got the escorts instead, which don't even show up here. 
Interesting. Interesting, interesting. But yeah, we shot down 10 P P36s here. We did not get any Vindicators, though. But they didn't do any damage. They did minimal damage to us. Signal reintelligence. Da, 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 da. Nothing of value. Okay. One of my guys turned into an ace. That's good. See, replacements. All the ants are finally back in the pool. We repaired an AKE in Singapore. It wasn't really a repair. It was an upgrade, so we need to get him out and, and re, uh, re, uh, reload him. See, we got credit for four kills, pushing one of our guys up to the ace status. Let's see. The Sally crashed, and also it crashed on landing, but both pilots survived. Both we had both. Yep. All right. That's pretty much everything here. Not a whole lot more. Let's hop back into the game. Zoom on over into Burma, which, as, as before, nothing's really going on. Just moving troops around. Singapore. Singapore is still a resource hub. Um, the only bad thing about Singapore is that we're slowly using up all the resources there. We only got 260,000 tons left. So, <clears throat> I mean, what, an another week or so of hauling out of there? <clears throat> oh, excuse me, before we haul them all out, and then I'm not sure where we're going to find extra resources at. <clears throat> um, we're still unloading troops here at Bittenzor. We noticed some enemy ships here. Hopefully it's nothing major. We do have some com we do have a bunch of destroyers here on combat patrol. We're starting to load fuel and uh, fuel at both Terrakin and Batic Bat Bat Poppin. We're dropping off supplies as well. We're still swapping out some garrison here in the Philippines. Loading up oil here at Boella. I think we're full. Yep. Down here in the South Pacific. I avoided his sub by cutting, by cutting through the islands here. <coughs> oh, excuse me. There was fighters shown here, but now there's none. So maybe we got them all? Huh, maybe. Maybe. Let's see, our division here is still beat up some, but we're still hanging on. Um, they have hope now. KB is in the area, so we're going to start pound. We probably won't attack the ground units at all, but we're going to keep him off him and make sure nothing else come, comes into port. We do have some reinforcements up here, so they're still one, two, three to four days away. I'm not sure how I want to handle it. If I want to land directly into Nomiya or land up at Kumak, take that and then push down to, 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 to Nomiya. Just not sure how, how I want to handle it. Or possibly both. I have enough troops to do to do both. But I'll decide that. Let's see. Hauling resources out of Naru and Ocean Islands. Not a whole lot going on a truck at the moment. We're alone waiting for supplies from the north. Let's see, these are resources heading back home. These are uh, incoming troops from Wake or another uh, amphib going out to pick up some more. Resources going home. Let's see, our picket line, heavy cloud, light cloud, light rain, light rain, all right. Supplies heading down the truck, not a ton, but more than we got there. Bunch of resources coming in this turn. Supplies going up into into, into Manchuria. Resources coming back from Shanghai. We got uh, we're loading up supplies here to go into China as well to reinforce some of this stuff. As for China, not a whole lot going on. We're we're still moving some troops around. We got some divisions heading up here to push these guys out. We got tanks coming up here to clear our rail lines. In the north, we're still not to land Chow yet. It'll be a while yet. But that's pretty much what all that's going on. If you enjoyed watching the turn unfold with me, please click on that like button. If you're following the campaign along, please go ahead and click on and, and, well, and you have not subscribed, please go ahead and click on that subscription button as well. I would appreciate it. And until the next turn comes in, you guys all have yourself a great day and I'll see you later.